Hello friends and welcome back. So today I have an update video. There's no more hauls. We will not be having any more haul videos for quite a while. Oh my gosh, I mean, I hope so. <laughs> I hope I don't do any more haul videos. Um, I've been building, I have been building, but actually something did come in the mail that I ordered quite a while back. And I was actually not even expecting it. I was like, what is this box out here? Um, and I was like, this looks like, because you know how Lego doesn't, you know, put anything on their boxes or anything, and um, it doesn't actually ship from Lego either. And I was looking at the address, and I was like, hmm, is this a Lego set? Like, I don't remember ordering anything. And oh my gosh, oh, this set is absolutely stunning. I loved this set from the first day I saw it on the site. The brick cross station, I'm going to be putting this in the Bobatons area. I actually started um, last night, or actually no, this morning. Um, I started looking at the instructions and everything that they had online and going through the parts because I know that I want to, um, like right here, like this area right here that's red and then the red right here and then you see these red lines here. I want to make those um, dark blue. Um, and then I think a little bit on the back. Do they have a picture of the back? Oh, they don't have a picture of the back on here. Oh, okay, well. Um, and on the back, I wanted to make, there's like some columns on the back too that I wanted to make blue. Um, just to kind of give it more of that Bo Batten's like color scheme going on. So I'm gonna order parts for that, but I think I can probably start building um, while I'm waiting because I think that kind of doesn't come in until like the top half of it. So I can start building the lower half. It is so pretty. It's going to be like so perfect for them in their little area. I'm so excited. Um, I also got, um, are we doing a haul right now? No, we're not. This is not a haul. Not like, not too much stuff. Um, but I did get some torsos and a few pairs of um, bottoms for some of the students in the Bobatons area. I still do need to order, um, oh, there was, um, there was a mini fig. I don't actually know where it is. We'll do that another day. <laughs> but um, there is like a mini fig um, torso that I want to get for um, some of the Bobatin students. Um, yeah, I don't know where that is. Um, but I also, I also, look at my boo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's finally done. My Quidditch. It's so pretty. This this did take me a little while. This one took me a while. This one was um, more of a challenging build. So if you're into something with a little bit more of a challenge, at least for me, I mean, I, I haven't been building that long. So, um, you know, it might not be as challenging to someone who has more experience, um, but it was a little challenging for me. Um, and so it did take me a little while, but wow, is it absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna take the camera in and we'll do some close-ups because it's kind of hard to lift and I don't wanna break it, oh my gosh. And then I put, um, I built these two little sets, the hamburger, um, hamburger truck. <laughs> and then the frozen like ice cream stand. And I thought it would be cute to put um, right there at the Quidditch so there could be like concessions before like a game and stuff like that. So I still have to figure out like, because I, I, I want to add a pathway and things like that, but I can't really add that in yet because I don't really know the layout of the land at all or kind of how big Hogwarts is going to be. So I think um, what I what I think I'm going to start doing is focus more on Bo Battens for a while. Um, I'm going to keep up with the Hogwarts builds from Two Bricks. Absolutely. Um, but while he's, you know, working on his part and I'm working <laughs> on the directions when I'm building and stuff, after that, I think um, I'm going to just start focusing more on Bo Battens and getting that done um, because it doesn't really require too much um like level changes um because it is going to be the way i want it anyway it's going to be fairly flat and then i was thinking about um i saw some directions on rebrickable um to build like a little retaining wall and i was thinking that i could um lift up the shopping area and then put a retaining wall there with like some of the little like they're like the little train tunnels but i'm not gonna put a train there <laughs> um which i'll show you all this too like when i we go in and look at it but i just want to explain it now um, <laughs> so um the train tunnels i was thinking then underneath the shopping area that could be a place for more shops or maybe some stables um and things like that so it kind of just gives me like a little extra room for some extra stuff for them um and then it does give a little bit of um yeah, like a, a ground change, I guess. So there will be some stairs up to that and it kind of will, I guess, separate the gardens area, which 
I have the two retaining walls. There's an eight stud and a 16 stud deep wall. And um, yeah, I'm just really not sure like how big my gardens are gonna be now at this point. No matter which one I choose, it's not gonna be a lot of gardens, which I feel like that's one of the main things of Bobatons is the gardens. So maybe I can incorporate some of that in um, like the entryway of the school or something like that. So I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna grab my phone and let's go take a look at what I've been doing. <laughs> All right, so here is the Quidditch. This is a mock off rebrickable by Dream Build Bricks. I'll have that in the um, description below. So if you wanna build this yourself, you can, but let's take a look at this. It comes with um, two of each house and then two goalies. And it is just absolutely gorgeous. I still have to obviously populate it with figs and you know scenes and stuff like that but again i think i'm just gonna wait for a little while until i can figure out because i want to make like a pathway right here and then you know maybe make um like a little stall a little stall there um a pathway um and some other stuff i actually have um oh actually oh another thing i did <laughs> um oh actually another oh oh my gosh there's too many things <laughs> okay we're going over here look um, we got some more botanical sets up here on the shelves and my absolute favorite, my little baby, my little baby boy, he's so cute, <laughs> he's so cute. And then we have Boo there hanging with him, but I do want to put Boo in Halloween Town, but um, I have started getting some of the botanical sets done. Um, okay, so now, anyway, okay, where did I put it? Oh, okay, I put it right here. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, okay, you can see, oh my gosh. Now, I was, I was born in the 80s, so this means so much to me. Um, if you've ever seen one of the Zoltar machines, um, that's what this is. This is from Citizen's Brick. Let me put it up here as you can see it. Oh, how cool is this? This is just, this, this is everything right here. This is, this is amazing. Um, and these are all pad printed. Look at that. Isn't that great? Oh, I, I just love this. So I, I was thinking maybe I put that outside the Quidditch too. I'm not sure yet. Um, but oh, okay. So I also, oh, let me back up. <laughs> I gotta be careful. I don't hit this. <laughs> this is just such a bad spot. Like when you walk through here, it's just like one of these days. Um, anyway, okay. So I, I took the doors off the cabinets. Um, I guess I just kind of, I mean, it was kind of hard opening the cabinets and then trying to get around this corner. So I just took them off um and I feel like I can see everything a little bit better um so I, I think I like it this way it definitely you know it, it, it definitely adds more to look at in the room and I, I wouldn't call it clutter but um you know it, it's not as peaceful I guess um as if when I had the cabinets on <laughs> that makes any sense um so but I still, you know, I feel like then I can see my stuff a little bit more. And I already do have some lights that actually went in these units. So eventually I'm going to put those back on too. Once I figure out um, the height that each uh, shelf has to be. Um, okay, so back over here. Um, but yeah, so I was thinking about maybe putting um, the little Zoltan, Zoltar, Zoltan um, little uh, thing there. But I'm not sure. But yeah, this absolutely is amazing. This is the perfect quidditch for me. I'm so happy I finally finished this. Um, and then over here, let me scooch you this over a little bit. Okay, so what I was thinking for this, and I honestly don't know if I'm if the, if I'm even allowed to do this. Like, I don't know if it's even like the way to do it because I already put um, this on a base plate. So like, what I'm wondering now is um, if I want to raise this up, like. Do I just raise it up, like, you know, I don't know, put a platform or something underneath it and then just put this on top with the base plate? Because, I mean, I, would, I really don't want to, like, remove the base plate and then, you know, put something else underneath it so that it actually attaches to more Lego under it. Um, <laughs> so I was thinking about either... I don't know if I was gonna build it out of Lego or if I was just going to make, like, a, a wooden platform type thing underneath here. Um, but... I, I don't know. I was thinking I could just set it on top if that makes any sense. Um, but anyway, so this would stay like this. And then the, like I said, the platform can either be 16 or eight. Um, and it just kind of gives a little bit more space up here um, with the 16 stud platform. So I was thinking if I did have an extension here, then I could maybe, you know, it'd give me a little bit more room to build the shops and stuff like little carts and everything like that. 
But so it would kind of be something similar to like this. And then it would have like, um, you know, a little tunnel and a few like staircases through here to get up to the top of here. So that's what I was thinking for that. But then um, the main school is going to be like right through to here. So this is all the space I have to work with for the gardens. <laughs> so if I went and took the platform and made it like this, then you can see the gardens is only a 16 stud, like a pretty much a half base plate um, through down through here. So which isn't a lot. Um, so that's, that's the only thing that's a little concerning um, if I did it that way. So I think I'm gonna build one of each and see how they look first. Um, and then I still do, I think, you know, one of the next things, like I'm going to be working on bow battens from now on. So I still have to convert this because um, I have a second one. So we have to put those two together. There's um, a mock on Rebrickable that I already saw that I love for that. So I'll be doing that soon. And I think I'm going to keep this where it is. Um, and I know that the botanical garden set just came out, which is absolutely beautiful. But it is a two base plate. Is it two or one and a half? I think it's two. Um, I don't have, there's just no room. And I thought about it. Um, there's just no room because the Bo Batten's um, school that I want to build is a nine base plate build. So it's, I mean, that's going to be, sorry. Um, let me see, where are we at? <laughs> so one, two, three. Um, okay, so that's, yeah, from here over is going to be the school and it ends right there. So that'll be the school right there. And then over here, um, we have one, two, three, three base plates. So the brick cross station is a base plate and a half, um, which I already kind of planned for that. So I think um, I'm gonna leave the half base plate open here and then take these two, well, base plate and a half for brick cross station. And this is still an empty base plate here. I don't have any plans for that. I don't know yet. I was, part of me was thinking I might need that to, to get is this is the train station i might need this to get into the mountain area like with the train tracks um to go through this mountain and and up over <laughs> um so that's why i didn't put anything there but part of me was thinking oh i'll just take the greenhouse and stick it over there but i think the greenhouse might have to stay there so that's kind of what's going on with my thoughts and bow battens and everything um and oh there's some other stuff i've been doing let me take you over there i gotta crawl under the table <laughs> Okay, we made it. It's not as much light over here. I actually still do need to figure out the lighting situation. Um, but I have started the water. I think I might have started it in the last video. Um, but we're making a little bit more progress. I'm hopefully going to finish this one up this weekend. I think I have enough parts for it. Um, but it's looking so good. Like, I am so happy I picked this color. It looks great. One thing I... <laughs> Step. Um, so I was like, okay, you know, they just need to be, you know, every other one, you know, <laughs> like this. So I'm building them four base plates um, and four base plate like sheets like this. And so when I went to build the second one, I was like, okay, just, you know, every other, every other. So that's what I did. And I didn't realize that it wasn't going to match up with this one. <laughs> so I did it the wrong, you know, I started with the wrong one. So now I had to kind of remove them just so I can at least attach both of them together. And now I'll have to get two by twos, which I was going to need, or I'm sorry, one by twos. I was going to need those anyway, but so this seam right here is going to look a little bit different than the rest. I'll probably just hide that um, under a build, <laughs> under a build or something. But yeah, it's coming along. Look at this. I'm hoping these ones line up. Oh, I don't want to look at it right now. <laughs> I don't want to look at it right now. Um, but yeah, so see, it's you can kind of see it's it's coming together. Um, I definitely will be probably out of parts after this one though, so I'll need to think about ordering more. And I was actually gonna move the um, Hogwarts Castle kind of more in the middle here for now because it's like mm, I don't really need it over here in the corner just yet because we have plenty of time to, you know, build the rest of it. And it's so, it, well, I wouldn't say it's small. It's definitely not small at all. But I mean, for the completed Hogwarts castle, like the full castle is much larger than this, probably two, three times this size. So it's still kind of small to where I can maybe keep it more in the middle of the table. So that's what I was doing here by moving the boathouse down. I think I'm going to move the rest of this down. So, yep, that's my going on and there's my trash bag full of lego that i really want to do a video going through my trash bag of lego like 
<laughs> it's not there's definitely not trash in there but there's just so much stuff i've thrown in there because i didn't know where to put it so hopefully one day i can do that all right so that's pretty much it for my update i'm going to keep plugging away with bow battens um get some more like fake parts ordered i need to get the rest of that stuff ordered um i do need to kind of part out that second um not part out but like organize organize uh organize the parts from the second um what what's the it's not called botanical gardens right now because it's the new one the the friends one the botanical friends one we'll call it i don't remember the official name um but i do need to probably I think I might have to break that whole thing down. <laughs> I'm not sure, I have to look at the directions. But I might have to break that whole thing down and then combine you know, the second set of parts and then rebuild the whole thing. So we'll have to see, but hopefully soon we will have like something substantial. I want like at least to get like a, I don't know, like a little corner of the table, just kind of almost done. Like, or you know, where it looks not like, I don't know, everything's just all over the place <laughs> right now. I want just like a little corner so I can, you know, set up scenes and actually play with my Legos. So um, I hope to get at least a shopping area done soon. I would, that's what I would like. That's my goal is to get the shopping area done um, just so that I can enjoy that little part of it for a while and not have to look at everything in just disarray for now. <laughs> but all right, well, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, please. Bye. <laughs>